was once just a sculpture that was conceived by Charles Daudelin in 1975, then given form in 1983 by one Jean-Marie Fortin. Once again, who appears in the scene? Our friends from Souci Aquatique, who we've heard about more than once in virtual Montreal Fountain Tours. As per their website, this is what they wrote about their contribution to Daudelin's work. To bring out the work of art's beauty, Souci Aquatique built a reflecting pool under it. The sculpture now rises up from the circular concrete and forming the pool, giving it its very own space. The sculpture with fountain in its current form was opened in 2008. While this sculpture was the conception of Daudelin, sometimes complete ideas are not brought to fruition without the input of others. The inscription in the reflecting pool can be seen here, and while it attributes the work to Daudelin, it also notes that it was realized by Jean-Marie Fortin some eight years later. However, it took a quarter of a century before it attained its current form, including the water element. This fountain public artwork seems to fit right in with Palais de Congrès in Montreal, which at its western extremity stands the fountain by Jean-Paul Riappel, which we visited in our first episode. While Riappel was born in 1923, Daudelin was a few years older, being born on October 1st, 1920. While teaching at l'École des Beaux-Arts de Montréal, Daudelin created the integrated art section there in 1963. Among his most prestigious accomplishments in integration art is the altarpiece in the Sacred Heart Chapel at Montreal's Notre Dame Basilica. This work is an imposing 20-ton bronze piece measuring 52 feet high and 17 feet wide. In examining the two different works, it appears to me that Daudelin liked to think a little outside the box during his day. 